so I got my 2017 Raptor, I think the beginning, January of 21. Got it used. Uh, when it came to what I wanted to put on the back, I was really confused. Like I didn't want a whole camper set up like a GFC, as cool as they are, as much as I wanted one. I wanted a shell and then a lighter tin I can take on and off because usually when we go back home, which is like an 800 mile trip, we're not going to really be camping or anything. So I wanted to save the miles per gallon because having a tent up top definitely affects that. I know we went with a soft topper for the hell of it and sleeping in the bed. Got really tired of that. I kept seeing these smart caps from RSI, like kind of going around. Uh, finally, when I decided I wanted one, like mid, was it mid 21? It was, yeah. yeah. You know, they're nowhere to be found, especially because of COVID, like nothing was around. October of 21, Off-Road Alliance got a shipment and I think five of them for my truck and ordered it as soon as I could. Yeah, they were cool. Shipping was within a week and a half. Of course, I, you know, it comes in, what, three boxes and we assembled it and put it on for weighing only 180 pounds, as much as they say they do. It was pretty heavy, probably because it was so awkward. But other than that, putting it together was easy. It only took a couple hours and we we're taking our time. So I've had it on since October of 21. Now it's January of 23. So I've had it for about a year and a half. I really like it. Besides the locks having their issue freezing during the freezing rain. Two of the locks on my RSI froze. Normally I just take a quick torch and just, just tap it and they're good. Well, two locks just immediately melted inside. I didn't realize a little dust cap in there was plastic melted inside i literally had to destroy two locks finally got them unlocked uh this one was back here but then i switched it to the side because i don't need to get into the side as much as the other and the back because they're really hard to get open uh, i put a warranty claim through on rsi i think uh like two weeks ago they've yet to respond but i emailed rsi again um i guess my last email didn't go through because they emailed me back within I think an hour or less. Uh, as of now, they're sending me six new locks and six covers to help stop the locks from freezing. They mentioned their new latches that are, I guess, freeze proof and you can open from the inside and out. I'm guessing you have it locked from the inside and out, not sure. But they mentioned that they, uh, they aren't ready yet. They don't know when they're gonna be ready, but there's a list, people are on it. So I guess I'm on that list. I normally have to put in like Teflon not Teflon grease, but a Teflon coating. Um, it usually works pretty good for most of winter, but when everything was frozen that day, it didn't work that great. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it, I guess. Um, you guys know what it looks like for the most part. Anyone looking at it, looking to buy one. Um, it's all stainless steel. They claim this one on a five and a half foot bed weighs around 180 pounds. Maybe it's a little more because it's on a Tacoma. So it's a little wider. Uh, this is just the RSI Smart Cap. Is it Evo? Because I think the Evo A, the Adventure one, was where they had no windows on the side, but that was coming out. That was being announced like when I bought this. And I did want windows because I wanted an opening side window for the dog. I didn't want the commercial one because it was white. I just, you know, wanted to match black. Uh, so far, I go down a lot of tight trails. We're in the PNW, and everything is a tight trail. And I got the widest truck possible, of course. But it doesn't actually pinstripe into the paint, so whatever paint they're using is really good. Um, it all cleans off. You could usually see the pinstriping. I haven't buffed this thing like I'd done the truck once, but it just looks like one constant pinstripe up the whole side of the truck. Uh, windows haven't broken yet, so that's good. I've hit them pretty hard. Normally have a GFC super light on the top. Uh, it's off right now because we went back home for Christmas. So I didn't want that slowing me down on the highway. And then of course, once we took it off, I realized it was broken, of course. Uh, they at least sent me the parts to fix it. I just haven't fixed it yet. Then we moved recently, so it just hasn't been back on, but it's only been barely a month. So hopefully in the near future, I heard Super Pacific is making just an RTT. So I'm probably gonna go with them because of our down luck on GFC's braking. Don't know why it's just 
me and the other truck on the channel, but it's not like we drive that hard. All right, so we'll take a look inside. Uh, it's a perfect day, it's been pouring rain. As you can see, I'll put video over. So everyone always asks about the vent, if you get water in, if how watertight everything is. It's pretty damn watertight. Um, let me turn the lights on. Let's see, we got a little water in, but I think it's from opening this a few times for different camera shots on the way up. There's barely any water splashing in, and I think a lot was just for me opening it up with a pouring rain. I normally only get a couple drops. I've never seen anything up on the cases, nothing up front. Uh, I did go through a car wash, and yeah, I got water in, not that bad. It wasn't like a hose was in here. Oh, we do have a little bit of water here, but that might have been from me coming in with a wet jacket a little bit ago. I did do a like the Lund tailgate seal kit from Amazon. It was like 25 bucks. If I could find it, I'll link it below. Uh, it works really well. It's been on for probably well over a year and a half now. I did it before I got the top. So far, jumped the truck plenty of times. I've been on the dunes, out in the desert, everything. This is not shifted. So it's got the cheap aluminum clamps, but they work. Um, I don't even think I torqued them correctly. No, I torqued them correctly. Yeah. I might've gone a little tighter. But they've been holding everything together. It hasn't shifted, it hasn't done anything. So yeah, these aluminum beds have seams. You can see right through them. You would think this would get really dusty. It did when I had a soft topper on. I mean, it destroyed the bed of this in like 10 minutes. But then uh, after getting this, the whole positive air vent, the way they say it works actually works really good. A few days in the Oregon desert, I didn't even have dust. I might've had dust coming in right here, you know, from the tailgate coming around the seal, like the little creases. But it was clean bed, the whole top was clean. I was pretty surprised at how well that works. Another thing I noticed, you know, it's raining and cold up here all the time. Of course, it's gonna fog up in here. But after about 10 minutes on the road, it defogs itself. I could actually see out the back window. First, kind of can't right now with how freaking dirty it is and all the crap we got from driving in the ice for seven hours that day. But normally, I keep them clean. I hate dirty windows. The truck's dirty, but the windows are normally clean. So it works perfectly. With the built right bed panels, they don't get in the way. Um, really close tolerance, but works perfectly with those because I wanted those. I like to have my stuff mounted and bolted down because plenty of times we jump the truck. Well, I won't say jump it, but Not really drive it more like a Raptor wants to be driven, I guess. Yeah. As much as that means, which means a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the side windows, we'll pop this up. Really nice, these are freaking strong. The first time I checked out an RSI, I was at the Mule open house up in Issaquah. And uh, some guy in his Gladiator had one, and I think he had the Adventure one, so there wasn't side, no, there was side windows, but there's a little different. Mm -hmm. He said I could check it out as soon as I popped the latches, it almost hit me in the face. But these, like, these are strong. So here's one of the side windows. You got many locking options all the way open or not. It's nice because your dog can't get out unless you have too small of a dog. So then you have a cat. They don't leak. Got max tracks for a wedding gift, but I hated having to strap them down or push them around somewhere. It'd be hard to get. So I saw on Instagram this guy with a Ram and an RSI. I think his name's Staten or something. He made a mount to go up here. So I made a mount with some eighth inch just what, one inch wide, like strap steel. Uh, basically just crosses through. I could take this down and show you more, uh, but it mounts to the upper yeah. bolts on the RSI, or the upper, what, nut certs? Yeah, nut certs. And uh, it's nice. I don't see it in my, looking through with my rear view, and I didn't want it running long ways because it gets in the way of opening the roam or just gets in the way. So this was perfect. You know, you don't need them that much. Oh, that's on there. It just crosses over. Pretty simple. Just drilling some holes, cutting some steel. It's nice. Everything stays up here. It doesn't make noise or anything. Uh, you can do it yourself. It's nice if someone here's help. Someone is here to help you grab it. But 
like I said, you shouldn't be grabbing them out all the time. I don't, I don't see a reason to have them mounted on the side of your vehicle or anything, but that's fine. Maybe I don't go hard enough. I don't get stuck enough. Oh, so the third brake light passed through sweet because when you turn the rear bed lights on and the Fords, it turns on those two little spotlights and it actually shines through pretty bright in here on its own. So up here, got the vent, as you can tell. I mean, there's even pulling, a little bit of pulling of water. Uh, RSI was out of their crossbars, so was it front runner made make specific RSI crossbar kits, um, either the wide or narrower for like a Tacoma or something. Nice kit, works well. So I guess one annoying thing that people don't like is most of these ship without third brake light wiring. Mine didn't have it. Uh, it took them, I think, close to a year to come up with something, which I didn't use. But they're they were really cool about it. They told me they could ship me what they had, even though it didn't really work, or they will pay for me to go somewhere to get it wired in. Um, I'm a mechanic. That's what I do for a living. So I wired in myself on these Fords, at least. Depending on the year, there's a wire right up under the hood on the left side, right near the brake booster. Uh, I did not have that, and it took me a while to find out that I didn't have it. Um, there's a wire that runs down on the kick panel on the driver's side. I uh, was able to tie right in, didn't mess with anything, because you can't wire it to the brake lights, because then it'll sense there's something wrong. Um, so that was easy. Nice little you know, inline fuse right here. Just plugs in. Took a little longer, but I don't really care. At least it's wired nice. I did have to run it all the way up to the front, though. But whatever they give you now ties in, I think, to the trailer stuff. If I could find that, I'll, I'll show that in this video. It's a good brake light. It's LED light. Uh, I've debated on getting the rigid third brake light so I could have, like, a running light. Um, be nicer when... I guess it would sort of work as a chase light. I have a chase light anyways, but uh, just help out better when it's really dusty or foggy. We'll see though. If I do that, I'll make a whole thing on it. I already planned out how I'd mount it, but for now that's completely fine and that's just unnecessary. I guess one thing I'd suggest if you get one, before you put it up, I would do some sort of glass sealant, rain -X something really good on the RSI and on your truck because it's still holding up, still beating water. I did that a you know, year and a half ago. At some point I'll redo it, but I really don't want to unmate this thing and take it off because I'm sure it's going to stick all together and ruin the seal. And the seal is perfect. It's all one continuous seal, so you don't have anything uh, that can run in. That's probably why it doesn't leak, honestly. But as you can see, it's raining does that a couple days out of the year here and <laughs> stays pretty well sealed up so if you're living in this area and that's what this is something you're looking for i'd definitely suggest it so all in all i'm happy i got it it was definitely worth getting you know i've had fiberglass camper shells in the past and they pretty much suck they wouldn't i don't think it'd still be holding up for what i've gone through but who knows maybe they would but for the price of fiberglass now i think we paid like 4100 for this altogether. Yeah. And that was shipped. There might have been four. Has yet to fall apart as much as some companies say these do.